What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads. And what we have here today is something that I can't even believe happened. It is March Madness. This is the breakdown of round one. And UMBC takes down number one, Virginia. Not only was it number one, Virginia. We are talking about a Virginia squad that was number one overall in the whole entire seating. This has never happened before. They dominated the floor. It wasn't even close. It wasn't a, oh, they won on a buzzer beater. This is, they demolished them. One by 20 points. And on top of that, put up 74. They were wet from three. They couldn't be stopped. This is one of the biggest upsets in sports history. Virginia will never be able to sit there and embrace a tournament again without getting absolutely ripped on. That was the biggest fall of sports history. History. They are comparing this to the Miracle on Ice in 1980 Olympics. That's how big this upset was. And it truly was. It truly was. There was a man who put up 800 bones for UMBC, which is ridiculous to me. That's pretty much throwing 800 bucks in the trash. And he won 18 grand. This is unbelievable. One of the biggest upsets ever in sports. And I witnessed it. I am still in shock. It happened last night. I woke up this morning, threw on Sports Center. I thought it was a dream. I really did. And this was how did you, as a 16 seed UMBC, go from beating Virginia, the biggest high you can possibly get? And now they're going to have to go into Kansas State on Sunday and be as hype to beat a Kansas State squad. Why not, though? Why not? I just can't get over the fact that this is actually happening. I had all these notes planned to discuss all these topics, and then you're hitting me with the 16th seed beating the one I said on Friday before the tournament started when I was at my buddy's place. You would think the 16th seed would win eventually. It's got to happen. And then a day later, it happens. That's just wild. Absolutely wild. I can't process what happened. 74 to 54. I felt bad for those Virginia players. You got to realize you won the ACC. You had 20 ACC wins. You were playing dominant. One of the best seasons ever as a school. And then you fall to the first round to the 16th seed UMBC. People are going to remember this game over who won the national championship in 2018. People are going to have to look up who won the 2018 national championship in 20 years. But when you mention UMBC Virginia, everybody knows what you're talking about. I applaud you, UMBC. That was fantastic. One of the greatest sports moments I have ever witnessed in my life. Besides the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. It is the time for the underdog. It's the year, baby. Let's break down what happened throughout the tournament. Here you go. On Thursday, the games kick off, and it was beautiful. You had URI in Oklahoma, and it goes to overtime. What a start to the tournament. URI with some deep threes. Matthews taking over after Trey Young made some nice plays late, and Oklahoma falls early in the tournament. URI advances, and then Tennessee goes to work next, and they didn't do work 73-47 to against Wright State. There was no competition. Competition. Gonzaga, fourth seed, kind of got a little work there by UNCG, but they get the job done and win by four. Kansas, uh, they played UPenn a number one 16 matchup. UPenn held in there. They made it a little interesting, obviously, but did not get the job done. Kansas wins by 16. Duke smokes Iona. Loyola, Chicago against Miami. Are you kidding me? A buzzer beater? That was fantastic. The first day of the tournament was so beautiful. It was everything we could have imagined. For that game, Miami hits a clutch two with 30 seconds left fade away, and it was contested so well by a Loyola defender. Turnover with 23 and a half seconds left. Loyola tries to foul and snags the cookies. It goes off Miami's player and Loyola's ball. Two great looks inside down low and couldn't cash in, but he definitely got fouled. They held their whistles. You get some missed free throws. Bang. Buzzer beater Loyola with the biggest 
first upset of the day, and that was a 13-6. A lot of people had that pick. Miami Falls early first round. Ohio State, first 5-12 matchup of the tourney. You know what's going to happen. You know what 12-5 is going to happen. But Ohio State makes sure it wasn't them with an 81-73 win. Seton Hall beats NC State 94-83. to Villanova goes to work as the number one seed. They do what they have to do, and they smoke Radford by 26. Kentucky Davidson, a little closer than we expected. People did have Davidson being able to be the 12th to take down the 5, because you know what's going to happen. And Kentucky wins 78-73. to Texas Tech pulls away from SF Austin 70-60. The intensity in that Houston-San Diego game. San Diego State hits a three. Houston hits a three. San Diego State hits a three. Bang, bang, bang. The place was crazy. It was unbelievable. It came down to a last-second opportunity. An up-and-under layup gets the job done for Houston. Although San Diego State had a fantastic look late in that game. Had a half-court heave and did not get it done. Alabama. They played Virginia Tech. That was another battle, 86-83. Sexton went to work. I love that player. Sexton is going to be a tough matchup for Villanova this afternoon. He is a great big-time player. And then Arizona. Arizona gets stomped to the ground by Buffalo. 13th-ranked Buffalo takes down number four, Zona, 89-68. It wasn't even close. Sean Miller gets kicked out the first round after all these allegations of playing of paying Aiton $100,000 to attend Arizona. They fall first round. Are you kidding me? Talk about the Mar March Madness. Florida destroys the Bonnie 77-62. And Michigan does work on Montana for the late games on Thursday. And then you head into Friday, the second day of the first round. And before the day was over, I was thinking... Talking to my buddies. I, th I think the first day was better than the second day so far, around halfway through. Until the second day. So to start off what we had here for the first games on Friday, Texas A&M against Providence. They both were battling hard. I love the Big East. I love the way Providence plays. They're scrappy, but A&M finds a way to win by 4, 73-69. Purdue did work. They destroyed the 15th seed CSU Fullerton, 74-48 was not close. Marshall. Marshall takes it down. 81 to 75. Their 13th seed. They beat Wichita State. They were banging threes. They were wet all night long. They just played a fast paced basketball game now in threes. Wichita State stayed in there. They had a transfer from Kansas. It is his second year there now. He banged all night long, but could not hold on. As Marshall was the biggest upset of the day to that point. Cincinnati, second rank. Cincinnati played Georgia State. It was close all game, but Cincinnati pulled away late. 68-53. UNC destroyed Limscombe, which was a 2-15 matchup. Butler takes down Arkansas. 79-62. It wasn't even close. West Virginia destroys Murray State. Nevada and Texas go to overtime, and that game was awesome as well. So much overtime. It was a beautiful day for basketball. 68-67. Nevada hits one and two free throws, and then 68-68. Texas turns it over with 1.6 seconds left. Nevada hits a Air ball. We're going to overtime. 87 to 83. Nevada finds a way after being down 13. That was a great, great ball game. Later in the night, Kansas State pretty much just smokes through Creighton. Did not see that coming. Michigan State and Bucknell played a close game. Very close for Michigan State as a 3-14 matchup. But they win by 482-78. Auburn and Charleston, another tight, tight game for a fourth-ranked seed. And Auburn finds a way to win 62-58. Charleston just could not hit their free throws late, and that killed them. That absolutely killed them. Xavier put up 102, which was funny because people thought that was going to be the first seed that falls, but nope. And then the next game was it, baby. UMBC, Virginia, I just can't get over it. One of the best upsets I've ever seen in sports history. Syracuse beats TCU 57-52 coming from the first four. Clemson wins against New Mexico State by 11, and Florida State destroys Missouri. Michael Porter Jr. out of the tournament early. So there is the first round recap. This is unbelievable. What a start for 
The March Madness Tournament, one of the best two-day starts I have seen in a long time. A long time. With that being said, we will be back with the second round after the next two days. Thank you so much for listening. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. I will see you next time.